You thought golf was knee socks, wooden clubs, and plaid pants. Guess what? <laughs> When a ball is above your feet, first of all, you have to understand that you must be a little bit more erect from the waist up. Two, put a little bit more weight on the balls of your feet. And lastly, aim a little bit further right because you will draw or pull the ball a fraction more. Well, when a ball is below your feet, first of all, you're going to have to bend your knees a little bit more. After you bend your knees a little bit more, you have to make sure your weight is more towards your heels. And then lastly, you're going to have to aim a little further left because more than likely your ball will cut a little bit. When chipping with a three wood or a fairway wood, what you must understand is that you must use a putting grip. What I like to use is a reverse overlap, which is my natural putting grip. I like to put my right index finger and my right thumb on the shaft. I play my ball off my right toe, and from there I make my same chipping stroke like I normally would. On a little chip shot around in greens, I like to weaken my left hand, or just move it a little more, more left on the club. From there, that means my back of my left hand is facing the target. I caught the club up a little bit quicker and try and drag the back of my left hand towards the target. When you're playing out a really deep rough, you must squeeze your left hand a little bit tighter, cock the club up a little bit quicker on the way back, and then from there, release it as hard as you can on the way down. All right. When drawing the ball, again, you want to face the club at the target, aim a little bit further right now, and from there, take the club along your foot line, on the way through, swing along your foot line again, which is right of the target. Welcome to 1999, the year of the cyber athlete, the year of epic EA Sports action, the year we go big, 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 the year of wake up and smell the competition because we're dialing it up with skull thumping attitudes combustible personalities and moves that'll shock mr highlight reel we're gonna stare you down throw you around and kick the door in so say hello because we'll make thunder with our hits take your soul to the hole and melt asphalt look for ear shattering board music rattled walls shredded pitch a formal introduction to the canvas and of course, the foam finger salute. Bring it on, baby. We're ready. Are you? Sincerely, the cyber athletes of EA Sports. It's in the game. Let's get it on! EA Sports. It's in the game. When fading the ball, place the club head facing the target. Open up your stance, which is facing a little bit left. And from there, take the club along your foot line and then on the way down, swing along your foot line, which is left of the target. When a ball ends up in a fairway bunker, you must choke down just a fraction, preferably about a half an inch. On the way back, try and keep your width, or what I would like to say, keep your hands as far away from your head as possible on the way back, especially at the top of the golf swing. And from there, pick the ball off the sand. Well, Hitting a bunker shot, first of all, you have to open up your stance, which is left of the target. Lay your face wide open. From there, you want to, as you take the club back, try and cup your left hand as much as possible at the top of your golf swing. And from there, go ahead and swing left of the target. When you're faced with a downhill lie, first of all, you're going to have to move the ball back further in your stance. Two, you have to tilt your shoulders with the slope. And lastly, swing along the slope. I'd have to say that you would have to take one less club
because more than likely the slope will de-loft your club. You will hit the ball a little bit further. When you're faced with an uphill lie, well, first of all, you need to tilt your shoulders with the slope. Second, you need to play the ball a little bit more forward in your stance. And thirdly, you must aim a little bit right because more than likely you pull the ball off an uphill lie. When you're hitting out a rough, first of all, you have to choke down a little fraction, play your ball further back in your stance, and you, as you take the club back, cock your hands a little bit quicker and keep your weight on your left side. And that's very essential because you don't want the weight going to your right. And on the way down, hit it as hard as you can. When I'm preparing to hit a putt, I always make a 360 degree walk around the hole. I start going left, go counterclockwise. From there, I get behind the ball and I get into a crouch in which I usually cover my, my face so I have a tunnel vision, something like this. That enables me to block out everything from cameras to people and just let me focus strictly on my line and how I want it to get the ball in the hole. After I determine the line and the pace, from there I go ahead and feel the putt with my hands. As I'm getting over the ball, I'm thinking nothing but pace. And from there I try and feel the pace of my stroke. Get into a good rhythm. I take one, two, and on my second practice stroke, I look up at the hole to try and get a feel for how hard I'm supposed to hit this putt. Then I place the club head behind the ball, take one look, two, then my last look, my third time, I take a little bit longer of a look to get the picture of the hole, and from there I go ahead and stroke it. When playing into a strong headwind, I like to widen my stance, which lowers my center of gravity. I move my ball a fraction more back in my stance. From there, I aim a little bit more right. I know I'm going to draw the ball a little bit going into the wind, which keeps the ball a little bit lower. When you have a strong wind coming out of the left, what I like to feel is my stance again is a little bit wider. My center of gravity lowers. And from there, I aim a little bit further left to use the wind. When the wind's coming out of the right, what I like to do is aim a little bit further right so I can use the wind, and from there I widen my stance again, which lowers my center of gravity, which should enable me to maintain balance. When you want to spin the ball a little bit more from the fairway, first of all, you're going to have to understand that you must choke down just a fraction. From there, shorten up your swing, make it a little bit more compact and a little more speedy at the bottom. So you want to release your hands just a fraction more. <laughs> 